Hello, this is um, an anklet tie-on demonstration from the Queen's piece. This is, uh, we have two pieces of rainbow moonstone and a piece of labradorite, labradorite in the center of them. And this design here that's going to be available soon on my store, on the Miria app. And here we go. Alright, so I have these slip knots. Well, I'll show you in just a moment. Um, so you want to take it and decide, you know, what part of your ankle you want it on. And I'm going to put it here. And so I don't want to do it too tight or anything. Just kind of make sure the beads are. Um, you know, staying grouped together so you don't have spaces on your string. Just move it. Sorry. Okay. So then we go. I think it's cool with it fitting like this. It's a little tight, actually. Or a little snug. And a little bit more. Okay. And so from here. Gonna hold that there. I'm gonna grab one bead. You see this little it's called an anchor bead at the end of one of your loops here, which is also known as a slip knot, because you can slip right out of it. And then we're gonna do that with the second one. And so now our strings are just perpendicular um, I like to take one and wrap it around because it kind of helps me keep my place and then oh gosh my finger is stuck okay then I'm just gonna do a regular it's called an overhand knot or like just a super regular knot and you want to be careful, make sure that bottom is still tight while you are make sure your original piece there is tight so that when you get closer, I just like to keep my oh okay. I keep my finger there as like a placeholder. Um, and I'll make another video because this was kind of quick. But um, really with this string that I have here, it's a nylon blend. And you don't want to burn it. It's not going, it's just going to break. Um, it's not what you want to do. And I just made one knot. Really this, oh, haha, -ha, just kidding. We're not done. <laughs> okay, I think. Cool. So we got one. We're good. We're snug. I'm just gonna even show you we got no gaps in our beads. All right. So we did one regular knot. We're gonna do another regular overhand, very simple knot. Now I don't have to keep my finger as a placeholder because. You know, it's already, um, it wasn't locked in, but it was pretty snug at that point. And now it's locked in, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not going anywhere. You see, I'm pulling. I'm trying. Oh, oh, it went somewhere. All right. And so that means we need another knot. So I did two regular overhand knots. Now we're doing another. Um, well, I'm sorry, not another, but we're doing one, it's called a figure eight knot. And so you just take it, take my finger, come into the string here, twist my finger around, and then open that gap, open the circle that my finger created, 
stick both ends through there. Just going to kind of pinch the original knot just so I can get as close as possible to it. Mm. I got new glasses coming, y'all. I can't see too good. Like, this string, the string itself is strong. Like, I don't have any doubts about the strength of the string. But, I do like to make sure it's secure. So, we're going to do one more of those. Um, it's called a figure eight knot. And the easy way, just hold your string up like I'm doing. Or, you know, you can do it this way and hold it sideways or up. You know, make sure you're pulling it away. Take one finger, hook it, loop it around. Now you have a little circle loop here that you can widen with the second finger. Stick all the string ends through. Uh, pinch your knot as you're pulling your strings and just kind of work with it to get it as close as possible. And, um, so this is like essentially permanent. Like, yeah, everything eventually breaks. Everything is transient. Nothing lasts forever. And so that's just letting you know that this string is strong. I don't know how, I mean, so far the things I've tied on me with this string have not broken, uh, solid three months. Um, which obviously isn't very long. But we can talk about why I don't really make myself things um, later. And I can just cut this out. I don't know why I keep talking. Um, yeah, so you do have a little knot. Oh, y'all, I left my string. That's all right. All right, and then you're going to take your scissors and just cut. Obviously, don't cut the knot. Just cut. Uh, leave a couple millimeters of string end. I think that would be best. You can cut as close as possible. Like, I don't, yeah, I say leave about two millimeters. I understand many of my clients are going to be from the U.S., but, uh, I, uh, what, a sixteenth of an inch? Is that a helpful thing to hear? Not really, but, you know. Uh, yeah, about a sixteenth, two sixteenths, so one eighth of an inch, or two millimeters about, of a little end string. And that's it. And oh, look at you, looking cute. And then you got a little knot here, but who cares? Who's going to pay attention to it? Uh, I prefer to use brown, um, a shade of brown string, but... This particular string that I got that I'm trying out, all they have was like rainbow color at the moment. So I got rainbow color and uh, it is an awesome string though. I, I just, I want a different color. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your anklets and waist beads and life, peace, happiness and whatnot. Thanks. Just kidding, I forgot to do the strength strength test. I was gonna say strength training test. Can you see? You see it's the same one. Same well, this is the one that was up higher, but same one, same knot. So just take oh alright. Now I'm just gonna pull. I'm pulling. I don't know how to prove I'm pulling. And no, I'm not pulling like with all of my strength. But like, look at my hands flex. You see my hand muscles flexing. Oh, wait. It doesn't, sorry. Uh, yeah, just proving that uh, 
is gonna last for a moment. So, thanks.